My name is Jack Oliver Troutman. My great-grandmother, Josephine James Oliver, lived on Duwamish for a short while with her father and mother, Peter James and Ada Descano. Peter James's father was a mailman who delivered mail by canoe on the river. The Jameses lived for a while in the Renton area near Duwamish. They grew crops and fruit and fished on the river. But in 1893, some settlers moving into the area forced a family out, claiming that they did not have the right to the land because they had no title. Peter James and his family then moved to Lummi. But even while Peter James was living in Lummi, he was the chairman of the Duwamish and fought for Duwamish federal recognition. The land wasn't just taken. It was fundamentally changed from the ground up, filling in the title flats. How can people be so ignorant of a crime where a community had their land seized and then with the native residents out of the way, destroy everything natural about the land simply because it could? I feel like that now. It can be hard to imagine my ancestors living in an area filled with big, ugly factories. It would be almost unrecognizable then. I've been trying to have more of a connection to this place. I sometimes canoe in the area. It almost feels like a while in the canoe that we are trying to take back in Duwamish. I know that it is impossible to completely restore a Duwamish River, but I feel like I have to at least try, because the river was taken over. Even though the river was dredged, rerouted, and it's polluted, and its ugly factories lined its banks, there's just a little life in the river, the kind of life that can grow. If people can just remember the people that live on the Dolmish that were displaced and what the river was like for them, then people keep that in their minds. I think that might cause change all by itself.